I'm Carleen Rose and welcome to Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Uh, as you can see, I've got my Christmas spirit on today because Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I wish you all of the best during this holiday season and whatever celebrations you have going on. Today is going to be a quick flow. It's going to be more of a uh, breathing practice, if you will. We're going to take some moves from Qigong to help us cultivate our life force energy. Uh, as well as help relieve some stress, bring some calm that can uh, you know tend to happen during the holiday season. So quick practice, it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, to start. I mean, you can see I don't even have a mat, I'm in slippers, so it'll be nice, chill flow. Uh, just come to a comfortable stand position, uh, let your feet hang out naturally on the ground wherever they will, have a little bit of bounce in your knees. We're gonna start with a Qigong movement called Knocking on the Door of Heaven. Um, Qigong is a great energy cultivation practice. It uses a lot of breathing and movement. So we are going to channel some of that and start with this uh, motion. So we have that slight bend in our knees. You're going to just start twisting from one side to the other, letting your arms kind of swing and knock behind you. And you start small and then you start getting a little bit bigger. And as you're doing this, you are starting to hit your back arm on the back of your kidney area. That is considered the uh, door of life basically in, in Qigong. So we're starting to activate that area, get that energy moving. And just letting your arms kind of do their thing. You can even start spinning more, letting your arms get a little bit more wild. If you want, you can start letting your arms swing up higher. You can even kind of hit over one shoulder than the other, starting to release out any tension that might be in your shoulders. Bringing that back down. Really using your breath here. Breath is really important. What we're doing is pretty much our main focus on this practice and start gently letting that go, coming to a smaller swinging motion, letting your arms come back to their natural. And then just stand tall here. See if you can feel the energy kind of moving and buzzing throughout your body. Um, that's our chi or our prana, that life force energy that we're getting moving around and flowing today and releasing any kind of locked areas and tension. And of course, through our practice, we're going to start using our Mula Bandha breath as well. Now that we've got that energy starting and going, we'll inhale here to our low belly, our breathing diaphragm, expand everything in all directions. Don't crush your neck with your shoulders or anything. Keep those low and exhale, squeeze in and out. Exhaling through your nose like Darth Vader sound. Make sure you're channeling your inner Darth Vader as you exhale, big sound out the nose. From here, inhale, slight bend in your knees. We don't want to lock out our knees. We want to keep that energy moving. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, we're just going to fold over our legs. Keep your knees really bent. Coming to a slight forward fold. Knees can extend just that first set of stretch. Wave your spine long a moment. Inhale here, bending your knees again. Rolling yourself in and up to stand, one vertebrae at a time, unfurl your arms to the sky again, inhale, exhale, folding forward again, inhale here, prepare by bending your knees, rolling yourself in and up, and last time, fold, forward folds are so good for you, they help release tension in your low back. We're starting to stretch out our legs. Wave the spine long, folding just another moment and bending your knees again, rolling yourself in and up one vertebrae at a time. All the way to the sky, big stretch, kind of like a big morning full body stretch. Exhale. Hands come to heart center and namaste. We'll do a spinal breathing exercise 
So it's a little bit like cat cow. Um, we're gonna take our arms out like 90 degree angle, that fist. We're gonna inhale with a little arch our back. Exhale, you're gonna squeeze your arms. So your arms come together in front of your face, really rounding out your shoulders, upper back, stretching out any tension that might be there. Inhale, exhale, inhale. I don't know if you can see over here in the corner, I've got my lotus lamp doing color rotation, doing some like Christmas lights, you know, how they will blink different colors. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, whatever holiday you do celebrate this time of year, it's a great time of year. Brings out cheer and joy, hopefully. You know, that's what we want to be putting out into the world. So hopefully that's what this holiday season is bringing you. Last time, inhale, exhale. Gently release your hands. Let's do some shoulder circles. From here, you can squeeze their ears when we're doing this because that's going to help release any tension once you drop your shoulders. You can do them the other way. And last time, rotate your shoulders behind you. Now last breath exercise, movement exercise here, coming into that comfortable stand again. We've got waves in our spine, extending out through the crown of our head. You're gonna take your hands to your low belly and face them up. So palms are face up, we'll do a centering breath. Again, another qigong move here. So you have your left hand at your belly, that's the center of your core energy, your life force energy. You're gonna inhale, right arms is circle around, exhale, Inhale, take a flat hand, flat palm down your center line. So it's called centering for a reason, because we're centering our breath and bringing it to our, the center of our core. So inhale, switch sides or switch arms, exhale. And just resting your hand and still using that Mula Bandha breath. So we're still activating our deep core line while we're focusing on this breath movement. Inhale, circling the left arm. Exhale. A couple more times each side. Inhale here. Last time each side. And this time, bring your hands gently to rest, face them towards your low belly, focusing on the, on your core here, your deep core, the center of your life force energy. As you can see, I've got my TARDIS slippers on, kind of a reminder to us that we are all bigger on the inside. So that's why we do this life energy force energy cultivation that breath work so we can take all of that energy that we have inside that's bottled up in our tiny little bodies and share that out in the world i hope you have a wonderful holiday season i hope you have a wonderful 2018 i really appreciate you spending some time with me today i definitely want to see you on the mat again next year so be sure to uh, be subscribed to the youtube channel so you get notifications on all of the new videos and i have exclusive content for you on my email list so make sure you're signed up for that as well uh, there's a link in the description and i'll see you in 2019 namaste